Hello everybody, Sanyar, Engineer, MBA and Investor. And in today's video, I wanna talk about ARK Invest, a latest comment this week on Friday about CRISPR Therapeutics and where do we stand between the company and their program XSL shared with Vertex and of course, the US FDA. Uh, before I do that, before I jump into today's video, a couple of points. First of all, I just went like 10 minutes recording well, I thought I was recording, but I didn't click on the record button, which has happened quite a few times at this point. So you, I think from now on, every time I'm going to record, maybe after the intro, I'm just going to take a glance at if it is recording on the other monitor here. I have like the OBS studio software recording the screen here, as you can tell. So I'm probably going to do that going forward uh, because uh, it's brutal to go through 10, 15 minutes of talking and then find out that you were not recording. So anyways, enough with the complaining. Uh, I do want to mention one more update. I know I haven't been able to make daily videos. A couple of reasons for that. First, like I mentioned, up until last weekend, I was in Montreal for a dozen days. Uh, this past week, I was sort of getting prepared for a presentation slash work event tomorrow, actually, on Monday all the way to Thursday. So this week's going to be really packed for me. Uh, I'm going to try to make a video um, like I usually do, um, maybe going through a news, a PR, maybe science, but I'll, I won't put my webcam. I think it's just easier, especially if I'm in a hotel. I just think it's, it's a lot tougher to start recording with a webcam and so on. Uh, I mean, I could do it. We'll see. Uh, but then I have to bring the webcam in the airplane and, and I got, I got to fly from Toronto to DC, right? So I am going to Washington DC, very excited for uh, visiting that city. I've never been. Um, so gonna be the first time for me and uh, I think I'm gonna like it uh, based on uh, the feedback that I've gotten from other folks who've been in the beautiful city of Washington uh, DC so that said of course there's another aspects to it making daily videos at this point I think I think I'm, I'm gonna step away from that as I've been doing in the last two three months only because I think the news is limited at this point we've been in a bear market and Often or not, you know, some of the news that comes out, we are sort of already new or sort of is already, it was already iterated in the past. Uh, so it's just like a refresher of news. I mean, I think, I guess that's okay, but to make daily videos on it, I mean, it's a little bit tough. Um, and I, I don't want to have the channel start becoming like a channel about price, stock price. I mean, this is what I've been seeing on Twitter. People just talk about the stock prices. That's all they do. You search for CRISPR Therapeutics, nine out of 10 tweets is gonna be about the price movement in the last day or in the last week or even the last month, right? I'll be honest with you, I actually don't even care about the price movement, right? Um, so that's one thing. Um, second thing, I think it's okay to give a little bit of breathing room between videos. I think our audience here in this channel sort of appreciates it. Um, I, I would I would assume based on the feedback, the likes. Of course, guys, if you like this video, if you keep commenting, that's how I get to see your feedback, right? So, and the last point I wanna make before I jump into this video here is uh, I do wanna have the channel sort of shift towards the science side of things. This is why I started the channel, right? It was never about, you know, the commercial news. I mean, that's fine, but it was always primarily about the science behind it. I wanted to look at research. I wanted to look at research papers, presentations, and sort of educate myself and hopefully educate you meanwhile. So. You know, I, I sort of want to shift my channel towards that again. I think in the last 30, 40 videos, it's been really commercial sales, PR, news, what company did, what the article was written about this company. Um, so that that's the last thing I wanted to address um, for that. But nonetheless here, I do want to jump in this weekly news from ARK Invest. So every week, ARK Invest institution, of course, everybody at this point should know what ARK Invest is. If you don't know, just Google it, or ARK space invest. Shares of CRISPR Therapeutics traded up 16% on Thursday after investment bank Cantor Fitzgerald suggested that US FDA is highly likely to approve its XSL, a CRISPR-Cas9-based gene therapy for the treatment of sickle cell disease and beta thalassemia. According to Candor, if approved, Hexacel could command a 1.9 million price tag comparable to rival sickle cell therapy from Bluebird. CRISPR Therapeutics develops CRISPR Cas9 genome editing treatments for serious diseases. So, 
this is really good. First of all, I'm not going to comment on the price movement. Like I said, I, I'm not really interested at this point. Um, I don't know if it's because we're in a bear market and it just doesn't really appeal to me right now at this point. I'm not going to sell. I mean, I'm not going to sell anytime soon. So what's the point? Um, but I do want to focus on this statement here. Cantor Fitzgerald suggested that US FDA is highly likely to approve XSL. So we expect this approval, but it's always good to see an investment banker says so, right? According to Cantor, if approved, Hexasol could command a 1.9 million price tag. I actually disagree with that. I think this is a low figure. Bluebird, actually, they say that it's comparable to Bluebird, but ironically, Bluebird, Bluebird was actually at 2.8 or 2.9, was it? Let's just say it was 2.8 for the sake of uh, being conservative. Um, I mean, when you think about it, this is a difference of like 67 percent all right this is a difference 67 percent i mean that's pretty big i mean 67 68 percent i i don't think it's going to be at 1.9 i actually think it's going to be more towards like 2.5 to 3. i wouldn't be surprised if it's three but i think a conservative pick would be around 2.5 to 2.8 uh, only because i can't see chris potatoes don't forget, Bluebird is not a one-time treatment. It is not CRISPR-Cas9. So, yes, it's a rival because they're trying to tackle the same disease, but it's a completely different tool set. And based on that statement, a one-time treatment should just by nature cost at least the same thing as what Bluebird did, if not more. Now, you could make the argument that CRISPR-Cas9 is more efficient, therefore, you know, it's going to cost less to produce for more patients. So, I guess I, you could make that argument, but to be 68% less, I don't buy that. I don't buy that. I think it's going to be a lot more than 1.9, but uh, that's their expectation. That's what they predicted. We'll see where we go with that. But again, it's very refreshing to see ARK Invest talk about CRISPR therapeutics in such light in their weekly news. Of course, as a reminder, CRISPR therapeutics was one of the first CRISPR companies that ARK Invest invested in. Um, they're pretty heavy on Arcan, um, on CRISPR therapeutics. I, I'm not going to pull up the, the whole uh, percentage on this, but I'm pretty sure CRISPR therapeutics is still like top 12 or top 10 of their whole portfolio, like whole portfolio, like take a, the space portfolio, take the genomics portfolio, take the technology portfolio, take every portfolio from Arc Invest and uh, CRISPR therapeutics. I believe they hold the top 10 or at least top 15 if we're at worst. Uh, which is obviously significant. So they obviously have a vested interest here to sort of publicize this news. But again, like I said, am I surprised at this type of statement from this banker? Not really. I mean, I also expect it to be approved. I mean, look, it's one thing to have lots of treatments like you know, heart diseases, um, but it's another thing where you don't really have a one-time treatment, right? So to me, this this seems to be the way I'm extremely excited. Uh, we'll see where we go with this, guys. Like I said, coming in the future videos, we're probably just gonna be still focusing on the science side of things. Uh, maybe one here and there we'll make a, um, a video on commercial. I'm really, really excited to get back to the science things because uh, I think the, the commercial sales, like these types of news, I mean, they're great news. It's good to publish, that, publish this, and I know a lot of my audience appreciates that. Uh, but I know there's another aspect of the audience that also appreciates talking about the science when it comes to CRISPR genomics, right? So we'll end this video like this, guys. As always, subscribe if you're not. Like this video, video if you found value. And I'll see you guys in Washington, D.C. in my next video. Hopefully you have a beautiful Sunday night. Thank you.